Hey guys, it's me, Jimmy. Today I'm here in Cebu, Philippines, and I'm standing in front of SM City Cebu. SM is the largest shopping mall brand in Philippines. And in this video, I'd like to show you guys some of the foods that you can have at the shopping mall that are surprisingly delicious and affordable too. As I was entering the mall, I couldn't help but notice this group of homeless kids and they were being shooed away by the security. Seeing that really broke my big muscular Korean heart, so I decided to at least get some food for them before getting anything for myself. There's a whole gang of you. There was a french fries vendor outside the mall, so I decided to get some for the kids. I get a titan size. Yeah. Glad to be introducing the taste of french fries to these kids. I loved it when I was their age, so I feel like they're gonna like it too. Thank you. Oh, no problem, man. You guys hungry? Because I'm hungry. I always found it a little distasteful when somebody does an act of kindness in front of the camera for the world to see. Let's just say I'm showing this to you guys to share some size of Philippines that's as real as the luxurious resorts. Alright kids, I don't think we're supposed to be here. Come on, follow me. Look, I'm a children whisperer now. I have like a dozen of kids with me. The seasoned french fries, I don't think I'm gonna have it. I, that would be selfish, I'm just gonna give it to them. Who's the oldest? You old? 15? I'll give this to you and you eat with the kids, okay? All right. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, put a shirt on. Goodbye. Well, should I try some before giving it to them? I'm hungry too. Well, this is kind of a sad way to start a video. I'm almost like crying now. But at the same time, I'm jealous that they got some great food. I think I want to try something similar. Well, this would be a great place to start. I heard that Potato Corner has the best french fries in the country. A lot of my Filipino viewers told me to go to this place called Potato Corner. I think I'm gonna have some now. Are you guys open? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I wanna try two flavors. What flavors? Um, two of the most popular flavors. Uh, barbecue and sour cream. Barbecue and sour cream? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that too. May I know your name? Um, Jimmy. Hold on, she wants to take a photo of me. I have to look nice. <laughs> so their main thing is their french fries, which is usually a side menu in other places. But Potato Corner has their powder seasonings, which gives it some depth of flavors. At least that's what I've been told. Oh, they measure it too. And here's my french fries. So Potato Corner, I don't know why, but it's supposed to be like very, very popular in Philippines. As you guys can see, it's french fries that comes with lots of seasonings. Maybe let's give it a try. Let's start with the sour cream flavor. Oh, that is really good. Okay, let's try the barbecue as well. As far as the texture and the size is concerned, it's like McDonald's fries. But you see the seasoning on this. That's pretty much like Pringles. There's barbecue flavored Pringles and the sour cream flavor. You know what? I wouldn't get this in one of those insanely huge sizes, but as a little snack, this is, this is really fantastic. It seems that the french fries that I got for the kids on the streets might be just a spin-off or a rip-off of uh, Potato Corner. I hope they enjoyed it though. Now I'm starting to feel sad again. You know how I always talk about growing up abused as a child? Man, I take that abuse any day over growing up on the streets. Those kids have it really tough. Also, I feel like I'm kind of a hypocrite because when I see other YouTubers or famous people recording their good deeds, you know, oh, I've made this much donation to this good cause. I always thought to myself, shut the hell up. You're just doing that for good PR. I guess I just kind of did that myself. And the reason that I'm showing it to you guys, it's not because I want to seem like a good person. I'm certainly not a great person. But it's just that anywhere you go in the world, there's just not so beautiful side of the world too. Anyway, about the food, I would definitely recommend this if you like McDonald's fries, because I feel like this is just an enhanced version of that. A little snacky, but I feel like these are great seasonings too. There was something really addicting about the seasoned fries, and I ended up finishing the whole thing. I'll stand by my words. This is a terrible character. If you guys want a new character design, call me. I'll do it for the right amount of pesos. Oh my god, so good. Now that I had my appetizer, I wanted to have something more Filipino, and I think this place called Mang in Nasal might be the perfect place. 
This place has a bunch of Filipino food in a fast food style. And judging by the way they are grilling their meat, I think this is going to be really worth a try. As usual, I asked for their recommendation and ended up getting a lot of different items including desserts. So after you finish your order, they give you a number on this stick and all you have to do is stick it in that hole and they're gonna serve the food to your table. This was one of the most popular places in the mall so I couldn't wait to try the food. And my food was finally here. Thank you, thank you. There's my java rice that came with the lampo, the pork. And there's my chicken, also comes with rice. And that's my gulaman. I, I'm not really sure what that is. Okay, let's get a taste of this lempo before it gets cold. It's like grilled pork belly. I really like Korean pork belly barbecue, so I really like this too. And for a fast food, the quality of the meat was very impressive. What I'm gonna do, get some more lempo, have some rice with it, some java rice. So java rice is Filipino style seasoned fried rice and it was just perfect to go with the pork belly. Wow. If you guys ever want to try it, the pork by itself, it doesn't even compare to when you have rice with it. So make sure to get some rice with it too. What's kind of interesting here is that for a little extra charge, you can get all you can eat rice as well. Is that unlimited rice? Yes. If I get unlimited rice, I get that? Oh wow, that's so cool. Now let's have some chicken. The chicken came with this dipping sauce. I think that's soy sauce. I'm just gonna leave my chili pepper in there. Squeeze some lime. Drizzle that on top of the chicken as well. They asked me if I want to get the leg or the breast. So I asked for the leg. I shy away from the breast to go for the leg only when it comes to chicken. And I just had to take a moment to admire this chicken's delicious thigh. This is like great grilled chicken. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that, but it was burnt in many places. But regardless, it was still one of the best grilled chickens that I've had in a while. Maybe I'll dip it a little in the sauce. The chicken by itself is just a little savory, so the side trick touch of the sauce went great with it. Personally, I don't eat rice with fried chicken, but definitely with grilled chicken. I love how these Filipino people, they're so entertained by seeing me. I think that's because I'm Korean. The lady next to me was like secretly FaceTiming with a friend, with me in the background. This is a great chicken. Mm. Yeah, very yummy. Man, that's great chicken. I think in terms of pure quality, this chicken was better than Lienpo. Like, it was perfectly seasoned and juicy on the inside. It's also not one of those bull chickens, where the chicken's like 90% bones. There's a lot of meat, and the meat is very juicy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Why am I bowing? I don't think it's a thing here. And my friends, this is called Gulaman. Apparently it's Filipino. Let me give this a try. It's got that Fruit Loops aftertaste. Super sweet. It's not carbonated. It's kind of like if you dipped a bunch of Fruit Loops into water and then filtered it out and you drink that water, that would taste kind of like this. The way I described it makes it sound horrible, but it wasn't bad at all. Look at that lady eating her chicken like a champion. <laughs> Just enjoying the heck out of that chicken. So I heard that halo halo is like a mixed dessert dish. It's their traditional dessert, it's very popular. I always see the color purple with it, so I'm guessing it's taro. Some jelly, red jelly, pieces of banana and mango. How could you not like it? You know what it's like? It's like Korean traditional bingsu. Back before bingsu became like this huge franchise thing, bingsu used to look just like this. It tastes very similar too. There was nothing crazy about it. It's just a mix of jelly and fruits, yet it was super refreshing and affordable too. Overall, the food here was very satisfying. And honestly, this is far better than other fast food places. Enjoy your food. <laughs> You know, going around in Philippines, a lot of people stare at me. <laughs> and a lot of people tell me that I'm handsome. But people don't really tell me that I'm handsome in Korea or the US, not nearly as often. In those countries, it's like, people are telling me that because they want to be nice. And man, I think it's a little sad. Because if you look around in this mall, you immediately realize that what they advertise as being handsome or good looking, it's 
Koreans like me or white people. So no wonder all these good Filipino people are like, oh, your skin's so white, you're really handsome. While just having a pale skin doesn't mean I'm handsome, you know what I mean? It's like they're not advertising their own beauty. I mean, I personally think that many of them are beautiful. Not all of them, but many of them. I've seen some hot people here. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I hope they realize their own beauty. Instead of trusting the corporations and media that imply that there's the right skin color to have and a certain ethnicity to be beautiful. But then, I think it's pretty natural that they think I'm handsome because my mom in fact told me that I'm very handsome and she's only lied to me uh, numerous times. So I kind of want to get pizza, but there's one pizza place right here and another one right there. Well, I saw a Caucasian gentleman with his Filipina date, so I just assumed that this is a better white people food place. Oh, they have Chicago deep dish as well? No, Supremo and Chicago all meat. Wow, the lasagna here looks really nice too. See, I was being a little judgmental, but I knew I made the right call. So there's my Supreme pizza. And that's my Chicago deep dish all meat pizza. What's kind of interesting is that they poured a big scoop of tomato sauce on top. Let me start with a bite of this New York style Supreme pizza. And wow, this pizza really surprised me. Like, it was a good American pizza. Yeah, I would say this is pretty good. They could improve on the dough. Like, it can be like a little thinner and crispier. That's just my opinion. I like the topping, I like the cheese. It just feels a little soggy. Should I have this? Chicago deep dish as well. Immediately, I like how it's filled up with sausages, ham, pepperoni. It's actually all meat. It upsets me when I see a self-claimed Chicago deep dish. And it's not really deep, it's just big because the dough is like so huge. But this one has a lot of topping, so I like that. It's deep. This is almost like pizza lasagna. The amount of topping that's inside, it's quite insane. It is a little warm, not like blazing hot. I like my pizza to be like blazing hot. <laughs> this deep dish pizza was also surprisingly good. Their tomato sauce was surprisingly strong. For somebody that loves tomato sauce and meat, this would be like a perfect little meal. It's so large in volume that most people, I think, will have a hard time just finishing this one piece. Some good soda is always good. Better if it's Coke Zero, but I'll take this. By the way, guys, I have a few dream sponsorship deals, and Coca-Cola is one of them. Because Coca-Cola is like my childhood, and my teenage years, and my current life. Like, I am Coca-Cola. Wait, that was beautifully said. Coca-Cola, if you want to use that line, please send me an email. Anyway, pretty impressive pizza. No way, they have Korean food here. Bonchon chicken. Of course, I'm gonna have to try that. Hi, uh, what's the most popular item here? Um, chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Okay, I'll get one piece of chicken. It comes up with rice and cheese. Here's the pineapple juice that's part of the combo. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like the juice from one of those pineapple cans. It just doesn't have the pineapples. This is my one piece chicken meal. That's just white rice. Mm. I'll be honest with you, in Korea, we don't eat fried chicken with white rice, but it is Philippines. That's my one piece chicken. Let's see if this is a good representation of a Korean fried chicken. And I must say, their soy garlic flavor was really amazing. You know what this is like? This is almost exactly like Kyochon chicken in Korea, which is very popular. You could say this is a little salt here. But this one comes with lots of meat, so it's arguably better. It has good, honest meat, very juicy. And I would argue, there's Filipino people around me, but I would argue that this is better than Jollibee in the Philippines. Only a one-piece meal, but the chicken is so large and they also give you the rice that it really is enough to be a meal. Not sure about the pineapple juice though. I think I'd rather get some Coke. That wasn't bad at all. I think there was enough food. Let's go get some kind of a dessert. I'm thirsty now. I think I'm gonna get something to drink here. Tiger sugar. This is not a Filipino thing. I believe it's from Taiwan. 
They're mostly known for their boba, and you guys know I have an ABG in me. I felt like it was pretty insanely expensive for Filipino standards, but okay. Wow, that looks good. What can I say? It tasted like a matcha latte with tapioca pearls and a load of brown sugar. This is like so ridiculously sweet. I felt like the quality was really there, it's just that it's a little too expensive for me. I'm an ABG in the sense that I like boba, but I want somebody else to pay for it. I think that's enough food for me, I'm extremely full. But before I go, there is something that I must do. Like I said, I'm not that great of a person, but remember the kids from earlier? The whole time I couldn't get that image out of my head, especially of the ones that had nothing to wear. So I decided to spend some of the money that I got from my viewers and dress them up fashionably. And of course, I got some food for them too. Hey kids, I'm back. Here. Alright, you guys have fun, okay? I wanted them to wear the t-shirts and thankfully a very kind Filipino grandma that was just walking by helped me dress them. Are you okay? <laughs> well, sometimes I feel like I'm a bad person, but it turns out, even for me, it's easy not exploiting these poor kids and treating them like a human being. Anyway, there was a lot of great food. Hope you guys are entertained. And you know I'll be back with more videos. Oh, my text is here. Goodbye, guys. Take care. Watch my other videos. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention that you guys can also listen to my songs on Spotify. And that can help me pay my bills as well. You don't have to, but it would be nice. Anyway, goodbye.